We all have a brain, but no two are wired the same. Let's drive in and explore why. So here's the paradox. The hardware looks pretty much the same, but the software, that's totally unique. See, the answer is in the wiring. It's not a fixed template. It's a biography written by our experiences. And this brings us to the core idea of this whole explainer, the biocultural brain. So think of it like a feedback loop. Our biology helps shape culture, and then culture physically rewires our brains. Okay, so how does this play out in the real world? Let's tackle the old myth of gendered brains. Yeah, it's really not that simple. The reality is more like biocultural footprints left by our lives. Now, science does show some biological tendencies on average, but the overlap between any two people is just enormous. And really, biology is only half the story. Culture profoundly shapes our brains through all our lived experiences. Okay, let's switch gears. This same biocultural lens completely changes how we can think about aging. We tend to think of aging as this long, slow decline for the brain. But is that really true? Turns out, our brains have four major turning points over a lifetime. And what's wild is how biology and culture intersect at every single one of these key life stages. Okay, so let's bring it all together. What does this actually mean for us in our daily lives? Here's the most important takeaway. There is no average brain. Human variation isn't a bug, it's a feature. In the end, our brain is a living biography. It's constantly adapting, carrying us through the many selves we become.